Hello again. As usual, I can't just do one pour. Um, it's so addictive. I'm going to do another one. Plus, I have a lot of extra color left over. And so, again, with the same colors that I just poured with, um, just four colors. I find four colors are plenty. Uh, I'm going to try this again. And so, I already have a little bit of paint even mixed in from the other cup I did. So, let's see what happens this time. So the first thing you do in a drag flip cup painting is you put down the color, but before you move it around, you take another color of a contrasting type and you cover the entire canvas with that. And I'm just going to help it a little bit with my popsicle stick. I've kind of gotten over the idea that I'm wasting paint when it goes over the edge. Um, it's just such a beautiful thing that is made each time that, um, you know, either other things take time or things take money. <laughs> and uh, in, in this case, sometimes it's, it's more costly than it is time-wise. Um, I've done uh, abstract painting with a paintbrush and, and painted every stroke on the abstract painting and that sure takes a lot more time but this takes a lot more material <laughs> but that's okay okay so i'm just gonna take it across the diagonal because i love it when it goes diagonally try to get some of that to drip out maybe with the, some help Not a lot of teals in this one. I might just, um, while I'm waiting for that to kind of develop, put a little bit more paint in this cup with the, some of those teal colors I like. Now I'm just remembering that a lot of my comments talk about how I whisper and I talk too low and I don't know what that is, but I think it's partly my upbringing. <laughs> Um, my father was um, very sensitive to sound and I learned to be a good girl and be quiet in the house <laughs> and uh, I've also myself I guess uh, learned that same sensitivity and so I'm actually pretty sensitive to sound too so even the sound of my own voice I think sometimes seems loud and so then I whisper and then none of you can hear me so I'm sorry about that and I will try to be more mindful about that and so here's some more color to just whoa that might have been too much and I must say that I love my mom and my dad dearly my mom is one of my biggest fans and she's probably gonna watch this video hi mom wow I think that's gonna be beautiful too I might have to go right ahead and do a big paint pour of this one right now as I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> so my next video will probably be a big painting of these same colors because I love them. They are definitely true to what I think is beautiful. And man, is it ever fun to paint what you yourself think is beautiful and just hope that other people think so too. Now see, there's not a lot of other colors going on right there, so I'm actually gonna put a little bit of that in there. And just let it develop a bit on its own. Maybe do a little bit of torching. Let it develop there. There we go. Yeah, that is something else. And then I think I wanna stretch that because it's looking a little bit too, the scale of it's too small in comparison to the rest. Oh, wow. Looks like fabric blowing in the wind. Well, just like last time, um, I just wanted to mention that uh, these are some of the colors that I used to mix the orange, uh, the burnt sienna, the antique gold, 
the holiday red, and that makes this color here. And then only the um, holiday red and the antique gold to mix this lighter one. And more antique gold in this one than red. And then um, this light color is mixed with a little bit of sky blue, um, mostly white, tiny bit of deep turquoise. And then um, this was the same, but it just had more turquoise, less white. And then of course, these cups are just filled with half of the paint color and then it's filled up the rest of the way with Floetrol. And then a few drips of just any kind of silicone lubricant you can find. This type you have to um, spray into a cup and then, um, and then it's a liquid form. And then you can put just a few of the drops in each of the cups. And so that's why these bubbles appear because of that silicone mixed in also with the, the Floetrol. So if you try to do paint pours without, like just plain old paint, wouldn't react quite like this. Um, but I, you can use soapy dishwater instead of silicone. And I've done that in many of my other videos if you wanna go check those out. Um, I do have a website, www.loriemorrispaintings.com. I'd love it if you'd visit me there and um, send me an email if you're interested in my work. Um, if you live in my area, Contact me for workshops coming up. Talk to you soon. Thank you for joining me for that flip cup drag technique tutorial. I wanted to welcome you to my new studio display place. I'm very excited. I'll be open to the public very soon. And remember, I'm uploading new tutorial videos every Friday at noon. Click the subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified every time that happens. Remember, it's never too late to be who you might have been. So be a painter. See you next time. What else could I say? What else could I say? What do you guys want to know?